Hi, today's lesson is about e-commerce infrastructure and we're going to go through the history of uh, platforms and underlying infrastructure uh, all the way through uh, present day platforms, apps, websites, and uh, uh, mobile sites. So uh, let's, get, let's get going uh, as I bring up the PowerPoint. Um, okay, a uh, bit of background. Internet connecting millions and millions of computers, businesses, colleges, government agencies, and individuals. But the key service for uh, what we're talking about in e-business and e-commerce is the World Wide Web and access to billions and trillions of web pages. So this did not come overnight, even though uh, the browsers came about in 95, uh, 94, 95 with the Mosaic browser. Uh, the innovations that built the internet uh, have been around for about 50 years, the fundamental building blocks starting in the 60s through the 70s. And then large organizations, banks, large corporations like IBM provided funding for uh, these ins institutions to utilize internet protocols. And we'll get into those underlying protocols that drove that part of inst institutionalization phase. Uh, and then in 95, uh, with the advent of the browser, uh, bringing it to commercialization where private companies and individuals uh, could use it at a local level as well as an intranet, an internet backbone. Okay, so some key co concepts that you'll need to know. Um, what is uh, uh, the components of networks, which is they use internet Networks utilize IP or Internet Protocol addressing, supports TCP IP, we'll go into that, uh, provides services to users very much like the phone system. Uh, it has three top concepts, packet switching, routing of that information, communications protocols, uh, the ability to, for one end to understand how to talk to the other end in the communication, and then client-server computing, uh, the, uh, the architectural model. Uh, that the internet uh, originally came about on. Okay, so packet switching is a you know the technical implementation, taking messages, slicing them into little bits, into packets, and then sending them along different paths to be reassembled. Uh, they will find the fastest path available. Uh, they will take different paths. They will utilize uh, the simultaneous symmetrical nature. Uh, of the internet and, and the underlying networks to get information there quickly and not in one uh, finite stream because that would slow everything down. It, the router technology is a key component. Obviously, you see that at your home, but also within businesses. The in, these are special purpose computers that connect these networks and help route those packets. Uh, and they use specific techniques and technologies such as algorithms that ensure the best path and the recovery and the synchronization uh, of those packets. Um, there's other technologies that are out there, um, such as circuit switching, but packet switching deemed uh, the best price component and most efficient for the internet. Uh, so if you break down messages, you know, a uh, simple message here, I want to communicate with you. It's a series of zeros and one uh, bits textualized down to that level, but then broken up into, in this example, uh, three separate digital packets. Uh, but it also contains information about that breakdown of the packets, and each packet has things such as header information, the destination and control bits, uh, such as the size and how many packets will be required at the end destination to be reassembled. So. From all those components going out, each of them contain this packet information. I mentioned earlier transmission control protocol, TCP. This is the protocol that allows sending and receiving to actually handshake, uh, recognize uh, the, uh, the, the, the packets that are coming, and handles that reassembly at the endpoint. Um, Internet protocol, IP. Uh, is essentially the addressing schemes to know where, who is sending it from, and 
to whom it is going to. Uh, the TCP IP architecture um, has multiple layers, and you'll see this in, in many computer type of architectures uh, that you study in your information technology curriculum. The four layers that you need to know about for TCP IP, uh, at the very bottom, the network interface, above that, the internet layer, then above that, the transport layer, and then on the top, the application layer, which is where the customer interacts with. Everything below transport, internet, and network interface layer are essentially system-oriented layers that process the data and transport the data uh, when communicating over the web and over the internet protocol. So here's a graphical um, representation. So again, reversing those four uh, layer components that I mentioned at the bottom, network interface layer. So things like token ring, ethernet, frame relay are the interface protocols that work uh, at that level of the, uh, of the infrastructure. Then the IP level internet protocol resides above that. The TCP IP uh, control protocol is the actual host to host transport layer of the data. So from your computer, from your laptop to amazon.com, it controls uh, the actual transmission of the information going from point A, your computer, to point B, amazon.com. And then on top of that are the applications that run. Uh, some of them include email protocols like SMTP, file transfer protocols, um, which are enhanced file services, uh, FTP. And then the one that you're most likely to be familiar with, which is uh, hypertext protocol, HTTP. Um, and all of these make up the TCP IP protocol suite from IP to TCP IP to the application layer. So TCP IP protocol suite is internet layer, transport layer, application layer. Okay, so how uh, the IP layer we mentioned before uh, contains the internet protocol addresses. Uh, version 4 at 32 bits of addresses, and you've probably seen these before. What's your IP address? Here's an example, separated by dots, uh, 201.61, etc. Um, the Class C address, network identified by the first three sets, the computer, your actual laptop, uh, by, in this example, the last set, which is the dot two two seven. Okay, so the, the big improvement with version 6 of the Internet Protocol was from a 32-bit address on version 4 to a 128-bit address now can handle one quadrillion addresses, whereas IP4 can only handle 4 billion. And as you can imagine, the number of websites and the web number of addresses that are needed out there to handle the demand of today uh, were significantly exponentially improved by IPv6. Okay, here's a graphical representation of routing internet messages uh, utilizing in this example both TCP IP and packet swipping, uh, switching. Uh, you'll see the from computer on the left uh, moving over to the right. Uh, TCP IP breaks it into packets. The packets travel from router to router, so it's broken up into, you know, many, many packets going from router to router, reassembled at the recipient. Uh, and the information is carried to and from and from and to. Okay, so here's uh, some, some terms that you're probably familiar with but are most important for uh, internet, internet business, uh, e-commerce in particular, which is the domain name, which is the uh, IP address expressed in natural language. So Hofstra.edu, Amazon.com, those are domain names. The domain name system allows numerical IP addresses, the 201.666.345.227, to be expressed in a natural language. So that's the DNS when you hear that from your IT group. Um, and then the uniform resource locator, which is the URL, is the address used by the browser, by Chrome, by 
Firefox by Internet Explorer um, uh, Safari to identify the location of the content on the web. So in this, um, we've got a uh, uh, azimuth-interactive.com slash flash test. Uh, the same thing could be used for amazon.com uh, slash uh, 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 Professor Loudon's uh, e-commerce textbook. Okay, underlying architectures at an enterprise level, uh, one of the most pow powerful uh, architectures is client-server client computing, um, connecting uh, client personal computers within an institution or organization with one or more servers uh, to perform uh, functions, uh, file storage, software applications, such as an ERP or accounting system, um, a human resources system, and access to shared uh, resources and services such as printers and uh, scanners and, 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 and like devices.